always student i hope all of you are fine and you are studying well so again we have to return back and we have to discuss first those are the chapters that you already read before now we know that we already got two chapters that you already completed that the first one is the topographical map and the second one is the population dynamics now today we discuss the first one the chapter about the topographical map now what is the topographical map that is a in which map all the physical and cultural features are represented by through the signs symbols and by the colors also this map is known as the topographical map again i repeat in which map all the physical and cultural features are represented by the signs symbols and by the colors also this type of map is known as the topographical map and here we are going to read about the what are the characteristics and the importance of the topographical map so what are the characteristics of the topographical map that first of all the topographical map always drawn in a flat paper the second one is the in the topographical map all the landforms are represented by the with the help of contour lines and the third one is the topographical map all the sign all the physical and cultural features are represented by through the signs symbols and by the colors also and the last one is the this topographical map it been very helpful for us the topographical map provide the lots of information to us and the next is the importance of topographical map the first of all the topographical map provide us the total information about a particular area the second is from the topographical map the government are used for the making the development plan for about an area is the topographical map government purpose it also used those are the government planners they also use the topographical map when while they have to prepare the development plan about a particular area and the third one is the nowadays also topographical map is being very helpful for us that while we are uh, searching for the where the resources are kept natural resources vegetation so these all areas also we should be there and so here all the things about the topographical map first the definition characteristics and their importance now the topographical map there is one more things also that the contour line those who already know about it that contour line is a brown color line that drawn in the topographical map that you have to remember that topographical in the contour line is that the brown color line is the color is the brown color line is that the contour line and they have a definite value they have the 4000 meter here is a 3000 meter three, so 300 meter this one also 200 meter so they have the definite value in this contour line and all is the center or the highest value of this contour line that is located at the center of it now this contour by through with this contour line is very important in a topographical map you know for what the contour line is very important for a topographical map because the contour line is only by through it that it represent the different landforms in a topographical map and the contour lines provide us the information about the relief of an area how we can understand the relief of an area from seeing the contour line that if the contour lines are located very close with each other if the contour lines are located very close with each other that means it represent the steep slope what are the slope steep slope okay so if the contour lines are located very close with each other you have to remember that if the contour lines are located very close with each other they represent the steep slope and the one more thing if the contour lines are located very far from each other that time it represent the gentle slope okay that time it represent the gentle slope so don't forget it so from seeing this we can understand about the relief of an area so if the question will come that from by seeing the contour line how can we understand about the relief of an area so this answer you have to write that if the contour lines are located very close with each other that time it represent the steep slope and if the contour lines are located very far from each other that time it represent the gentle slope for the reason the by the from seeing this only we can able to understand that where the landforms are which type of landforms it represent by if the steep slope area more than so that means is the the hill or mountain area if the gentle slope area is more that means the plain or plain to this year and also the next is about the slope that we know that the topography map they have divided the three four slope person the flow of uh, the four slopes area we can found the first one is the concave slope 
second one is the convex slope third one is the steep slope and the fourth one is the gentle slope so this four area you have to this four slopes are very important and one more important things from here that by seeing the contour line you have to identify the landforms or which type of landforms that is represent by two from seeing the contour line only from seeing the contour line you have to understand that which type of landforms is represent by two feet so that is why this is very important for us that is a contour line so different contour line will come suppose the contour line shape is given this type now this is a contour line is given now here is the value one given there is a 100 meter one value is given is the 200 meter another value is given is the 300 meter now the question is from seeing this contour line how we identify that which type of landform it was now, if first we see that if the contour lines are located very close or far, if the contour lines are located very close, that time it is a steep slope. If the contour lines are far, that means a gentle slope. Now, the shape of the contour line, there is the oval type of shape or the rounding shape. If the oval type of shape, they represent another landform. If the rounding shape, they represent another landform. So, by this way, we can understand from seeing the contour line that which type of landforms it represent by it. That I already discussed. That which type of landform that what their identical features. So you have to remember these identical features. Then only easily you can be identified about the landforms of a particular region. And also next is the what is the eastings and northings. That in a topographical map, what is the eastings and northings and the grid? That in a topographical map, suppose here is a topographical map. We know in a topography are always divided into the different the horizontal line and the longitudinal line are being passed through on it. Now while this lines it being divided, full map is divided by this way. There are one horizontal line and one vertical line. Now which one is the this one is the vertical line, this one is the horizontal line. Now which vertical line that which vertical line that pass through in a topographical map, this vertical line is known by the name of histics. Okay. And which horizontal line that pass through this map, topographical map, it's known as the north east. Okay, now this way the vertical and the horizontal line are intersect in which point or in which place this particular point is known as the coordinates. In which point the vertical and horizontal line are intersect with each other, this particular point or place is known as the coordinates. And also when the vertical and horizontal line they intersect with each other, they form a square shaped box. And this square shaped box is represent that known as the grid. Okay, so these are all the things you have to be remember and have to read properly. So today I have to share, next day we have to discuss more.